Happy Friday, Sagittarius. Welcome back. And for those of you that are new, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We are going to get right into your reading. When you feel drawn to the title and to the messages within, it is coming from the connection, the person that hurt you. So we're going to see things that they may be hiding, where this is this the end? Where is this going to go? Messages that spirit wants to bring through to bring you clarity. Um, so I'm going to pull from multiple decks. Sagittarius, do stick around to the very end. I am giving away one free personal reading this month. So for those of you that are new, all you need to do is go ahead and subscribe to take part in my monthly giveaways. New and returning subscribers, leave whatever type of emoji you would like to down below or the word giveaway, letting me know that you're interested. Um, each and every month at the end of the month, I will randomly choose those people to win and reach out to you through YouTube. So I'll always remind you at the end of the month to check your notifications. All right, Sagittarius, the person that hurt you, the one that you felt it was a little hard to get over, might be a little bit fresher for some of you than others. Let's see what's coming through. Third party. So the third party could be juggling of jobs, interference of family, interference of friends. This obviously could be someone that may have been married and you met them, um, had another girlfriend or boyfriend and you met them. But third party is coming out immediately. Yeah, I feel the passion and the chemistry was very real between the two of you. At the time that you met, you could not get enough of one another. And it does say from summer to winter. So at the, you know, depending on timing, when you see this reading, from summer to winter. I feel a breakthrough coming, a time span. All right, let's see what else we can get. For Sagittarius spirit and the one that hurt them. For Sagittarius and the one that hurt them spirit. All right, we have heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. Everything feels perfect. Relationship evolving. Going to the next phase, healing and growing with one another. The sword and the rose. I love this energy because not only do I feel it's the ace of swords, but I also feel the ace of cups with the rose. I feel Archangel Michael showing up. There is clarity. There is a revelation. But I feel a divine guidance, a divine protection over you and the person that hurt you. I have to say, Sagittarius, you know, rejection is protection. Sometimes, especially with third party being the first card that came out, sometimes you meet someone and it's just poor timing and you're redirected away from this person so that they can figure things out so that it doesn't deplete your energy. But yes, there is separation here. I do feel this person that hurt you I feel that they're realizing that there's an unconditional love here. That even in distance, they're still feeling you. They're still wanting to be with you. Let's see. Anything else for Sagittarius and the one that hurt them? All right, we have, this is the image. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joy. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances that you currently find yourself in. And what do I say? This is so important to heal, to mourn, heal, and to rise above because you never want to manifest out of place of sadness. You don't. It's going to be a continued cycle of sadness. You want to break that cycle the best you can. And is every, gonna day, every day going to be perfect? Absolutely not. But you want to do your best to rise above from day to day. 
when you think about this person and what had happened, what you want with this person in the future, you want to do from a place of healing, of happiness, of the best you can. All right, let's get it. And the sun and the eight of cups. Like, I, I, I feel spirit is saying, no need to worry, Sagittarius. Third party could have been having, you know, children, being a single parent, having children, um, maybe even being the sole provider of their children because their ex just was not around or in a good place to be that provider. And that, you know, third party could be many things. We have five of wands, four of cups. See, the challenges were real. I think... I, I think, I feel with these two coming out, the struggle was real. This person didn't have the, the time, didn't have the capacity to offer you more than what they did. Four of Cups is now feeling like you're the one that got away. Yeah, see, Four of Coins, they were definitely holding back. Justice and the three of coins. I really feel they're going to make that move towards you. They want to balance these scales out. With justice here, <clears throat> like I said, this could have been with third party, a relationship that your person was in, maybe even a marriage, and it just wasn't, it was poor timing. It wasn't the right time. 4-4 four, four is the energy of not just being divinely guided, but it's the energy of Holding on, holding on things for yourself, not letting whatever this third party energy is, and that you'll know better than I will what this third party is, is that causes complications between the two of you to deplete your energy. All right, let's see what else we can get. These paper cards. I do love the deck. It's Intuit Oracle. I-N-2-I-T Oracle. Most of my decks, I have all their decks actually. And I love them. But the older version was the paper version. But I still love it. But it's hard to shuffle. Alright, Spirit. Five of Wands and the Four of Cups. Yeah, see? This person, it, time apart from you has given them time to think. And they're all in their feelings. What they feel for you, I don't think that they were expecting. You know, maybe they treated it as a flank. Maybe it was only supposed to be very short term and um, a one night stand. But there are deeper feelings here that they feel. With the Messenger of Cups, they are definitely going to take action and make an offer to you. Four of Cups in traditional tarot is that person sitting on a cliff with their arms crossed, you know, dealing with what has happened, dealing with what they're feeling in the moment. What you don't see in that energy is a cup coming in and it's coming from the clouds. So there is going to be communication here. All right, Spirit, why the Four of Cups and the Four of Coins? Yeah. Why were they holding back, Sagittarius? What were what was this that was very hard hard for them? Like what were their responsibilities? This person is like doubled over and like doubled over in what's going on in their life. They might have been in a codependent connection. They might have been with someone for financial reasons. Like I said, they could have been a single parent and life was just extremely hard. Being that parent for the for their children, being the only parent. This also could be someone dealing with an addiction that played a third party. There's many type of addictions, obviously substance, obviously gambling. 
It could have been, you know, someone who, ha polit not political, um, religious views, you know, like I have multiple friends that are Indians and they're f Indian heritage and their family initially wanted them to only date within their culture. That's huge, you know? And one is and one isn't. And that could have played a role. Take it how it resonates. All right, Spirit, why the Four of Coins and Justice? The Hermit and the Hierophant. Yes, yeah, Sagittarius. They're following that lantern within the Hermit, having done a lot of soul searching. They're slowly coming towards you. Yes, and it's divinely guided that they're coming towards you. I have to say, they're showing up. Possibly they have their own business. Very secure with their money. Um, they may be wealthy. Like I said, that third party issue could have been, for some of you, focusing so much on their work, their own business, really worried about their own stability, having a lot of goals set for themselves. And they're like, you know what? I just can't worry about love right now. I can't. I can't give you what you're asking for. I can't give you any more than what I'm offering because I've got to get the, I have to reach my goals. I want to be at, at this line, at these many figures. I want this for my life. I, I just have a dream that I want to reach for myself. That's going to be for some of you. Doesn't mean that they didn't want to be with you. For those of you that that's resonating, it just means that they had other things set for themselves. They were doing an injustice to themselves if they put their focus elsewhere and not on their work and their career. But with judgment here, you say it's divinely guided. I just heard a wake up call. And. We have the star at the bottom of the deck. We have one, two, three, four, five, five major arcanas, six, six major arcanas so far. With that being said, and for those of you that deal with, you know, do your own tarot, you know, one way or the other, this was coming into union. All right, let's see what else. Five of Swords, Three of Wands, the Chariot. Whatever it was that played that third party energy, this person is moving beyond that. Where there was a crossroads, there's progress here. I feel this person, yes, they want to come towards you and open up about how they feel they were taking themselves out of that crossroads and coming towards you with their feelings. Third party, for those of you that might have been told, I'm leaving this person. It's not a good situation for me. I'm not happy where I am. I want to be with you. But at the same time, there was that distance. This person is making a choice and coming towards you. They want to make an amends. No matter the situation, they want to make an amends. All right, let's see what else we can get. And then I'm going to move on from messages from them to you. And something may come through that they were actually hiding and not completely open. You see? You see, it's like the well is almost running dry. They needed to focus on themselves and their journey. They needed to take care of their situation before moving on to anything else. But I feel, again, with judgment here, that you were divinely guided away from this person so that you could focus on your health, what is balancing your life, that nourishment for your heart and soul. And there it is, divinely guided. Waving the flag, extending the olive branch, 
to communicate, to make that amends that I spoke of. And there it is, card of five, change is coming. I feel when this person comes towards you, a lot of prosperity and abundance have happened on their part. They're feeling very confident and grounded in, about, in the decisions that they're making. Anything else for Sagittarius and the one that hurt them? Yeah. Look at this. Divine intervention. Wish granted. It might have felt that it was never going to happen for you and this person. It might have felt that the struggles were just too real, too deep. That everything that was placed between the two of you was too complex to see above. But this person is sorting it out. All right. Spirit messages from the person that hurt Sagittarius. Things they may be hiding. Messages that need to come through. I'm sending you loving energy. Can you feel it? Guys, when you're when you're seeing a specific movie that you may have watched with each other, you're hearing a song that sticks out and reminds you of this person. When you see specific numbers that may be spirit connecting with you saying, yes, we hear you. They're thinking of you too. I run away to avoid facing my problems. I feel like this person lost themselves for some time. And they had to figure things out on their own, Sagittarius. I wish we could go back and start over again. No matter what happens, I know we will cross paths again. Anything else? Thank you. I had to move on because I was not ready. This person thinks about you so much. Sometimes when you find yourself continuously thinking about someone, I have to say it, it's not because you're crazy. It's because they're thinking of you too. We have I, C, Z, A, R, blank scrabble tile, N, T, X, G, S, you. All right, no, no repeats. Let me know how it resonates. Um, leave that emoji down, whatever emoji you would like to, or the word giveaway down below in the comment section. I hope for each and every one of you, you have the best weekend moving forward. Um, and anytime you want me to tune into Just Your Energy, click on the link in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. I offer a variety of readings over there. My Etsy shop will go on vacation mode from the 17th to around the 31st while I'm away. My, my YouTube, I will still have readings posted, but my Etsy shop, I will need to be in my Zen to be able to do um, personal readings. But you have until the 17th to get in those readings. Love and light.